my deeper attitude the feelings i hold for others this is my subtle communication i become aware of this and i say to myself that every thought i create i am responsible to create a good thought i choose this option to create good thoughts for the self for others i awaken my inner experience of being child of the almighty the ocean of knowledge the ocean of love the ocean of forgiveness the ocean of mercy i am the child of that one supreme being the supreme light and i inherit those qualities of wisdom of love of forgiveness of strength from the one eternal supreme parent of all of us the entire humanity with this reawakening within i once again come back into the awareness of i the self being in this body playing so many roles throughout the day throughout this life right now i am sitting in this physical space physical comfort of this room creating an atmosphere of peace of benevolence of goodness all around me i spread these vibrations to everyone Om Shanti Om Shanti greetings of peace greetings of love the greeting that helps us come back to our true inner self reminding us of our true inner qualities So tonight's topic forgive and forget is a topic that is very often needed the quality the experience that we all go through in life every one of us and we find that we often say that i am not able to forgive this person i am not able to forgive this behavior 
I'm going to teach a lesson to this one, to that one. And we keep on living our life in this emotion of very heavy discontent, very heavy um, feeling of injustice being done to me, being done to the self or someone else we care for. And we want to settle that in our, in our heart, in our mind, in the memory that we have been holding on. And that really, if we have personally, we have gone through that experience, we know how unsettling it is for the soul to go through this for so many years, so many years. I remember I met a person, he was almost 65 years old and he said when he was a teenager, he and his father had some kind of a conversation. And his, in that conversation, his father said something to him. And he said, even until now, I am not able to forgive him. And he was, whenever he remembers that, just tears would come out of his eyes. Tears of sorrow, tears of pain. Tears of someone I, someone so important to me in my life is not able to understand me. And the, the reaction of the soul was that I am not able to forgive my father. We all have experiences like this or we know people who have gone through experiences like like these similar experiences. Forgiveness is a topic that is researched. One of the topics that is most widely researched in psychology, in universities, in the medical field. And so what is, what is forgiveness? What is forgiveness? Today to explore this topic, we have with us Sister Mohinder Kaur, who is going to bring her, her life experiences, real life experiences to us. Sister Mohinder is a senior Raj Yoga meditation teacher in Canada. And she gives her teaching services in the city of Surrey and Vancouver. We have meditation centers there. She has, wherever she travels, she, she shares this knowledge with groups of people. So she has done that with her family and friends in India. So many centers organize her events in India, also in England, in Canada. So we have a great fortune today to listen to an experienced person who has studied many religions to fulfill her quest in finding the absolute truth. She has immigrated to Canada in 1975, started her career in managing a hotel raising a family and so here we have someone who has balanced her life of family, business life and a spiritual life and bringing forth those experiences to help all of us understand what forgiveness looks like in real life. So we will have this conversation of how to bring spirituality in our practical living, which is where our interest lies. Om Shanti, everyone. Sister Mohinder, welcome Om. to the family, welcome to the classroom. And 
I would like you to share your thoughts about what is forgiveness for you? Yeah, Om Shanti, everyone. Thank you for inviting me to the San Francisco, everyone, and uh, Chandru Bahan. Like the, the, the conflict, you know, happen in, when our habits don't match with other people's, then the conflict happen. And uh, like when we understand, like it's not for now, like this is the deep rooted. If someone is not getting along with someone, it's not uh, like maybe they have in their previous life, like if they don't trust you in the family and uh, maybe in the previous, previous life, someone cheated them for big time. And now then, then the, they go, that goes in their subconscious mind and then that comes in the next life. And uh, the, then the person have hard to believe other people. But we need to understand the, when we come in the knowledge, we, when we have no, knowledge of soul and supreme soul, who we are, and uh, we take birth after birth. The souls are now wheeled out. And then, uh, then we understand then, then uh, the understanding is easy to give for forgiveness. I can, I can relate my story to the forgiveness. Like uh, I, I came here in 1975 and then I ran the business for 15 years. Then my husband went back to India and he, he was murdered by, he was murdered in the robbery and uh, the two servant in his house, he, while he was sleeping, they they killed him. And then I went to I went to India, and uh, after the funeral, like I want to find those killer, and uh, I want to kill them. You know. Then I went to the police station and uh, find find their where they are. Like I asked them if uh, I can find them how to. And the SHO, the police officer, he told me, he said, my father was killed 20 years ago. Like, I can't find the killer. So then I come back to Canada and uh, I was depressed and I have three children. And uh, I came back and, uh, but I still in my mind, I want to go and I want to go back and kill because my children were small, I come back. But I still want to find out, like I, I still want to kill them. And then I start going to Gurdwara for 2005 and then a little bit slows down, you know, yeah. revenge a little bit slows down. And uh, I was going to, go, uh, before I, I, I studied with Jehovah's Witness for 10 years in the Bible, just to find the truth. And then the tragedy happened in my life. And uh, I come back, then I start going to the Gurdwara for 2005. And I was still stressed and uh, I just go there for, like, just for the, I, I go cook there. I was a cook in the Gurdwara. I cook for 500 people every day. And, uh, but there is lots of helper, but not just one person. There was like in charge in the kitchen, just one. And then the other one is a uh, service service. And I, I come back and then I was still in the sick and depressed. And then somehow the, I saw the Shwani sister in England on the TV and she had so much power like Shwani sister. Like she, she, her, she brings you, she, she pulled you by her eyes in the, even in the TV, like before, I was really, I, I was in the Sikh religion, you know, I don't want to listen to other, any other religion. I just like uh, in the Jehovah's Witness, I was just, I was just trying to find the truth, but I was thinking Sikh religion is my religion. But then I find the university, Brahma Kumari's university. And uh, then I took the lesson and I will go every day, six o'clock in the morning to the center. And very soon, like I, like I, in one year, I went to Anbuti retreat and then I become a teacher, Rajuga teacher. And uh, 
when i come back and like before when we take a lesson we don't understand that much you know like we just listen listen just sit and listen but when you become teacher then you then you want to understand properly and then because you want to, you are going to teach other people like if they are they are going to ask you a question and how are you going to answer so then i very soon like i start teaching people and i was i was telling them like the past if your past was good or bad is not good to repeat if this was bad then we are living again that bad past if this was good and then we said now is not good then both past is a past but for the knowledge for the to give them the knowledge i tell them like i was uh, i was uh, i was looking for the my husband is killer to kill them but now with the brahma kumari's gyan with the soul and spirit supreme soul we are all the children of one father and everyone have their karmic account right i start to teaching them like if those killer come front of me i i tell them i will not do anything you know like if, if they, this is this is the forgiveness we we get the knowledge from the this knowledge like i was going all all over the places but without the supreme soul no one gave this knowledge so like i i forgive them after forgiving them then you feel light and feel marvelous right i think you need to you to thank you sister mohinder for sharing with us um the feelings of your heart and your life experience it is not a easy one we all can relate to that i would like to um ask you that you mentioned with the knowledge of the soul and the supreme soul you were able to forgive the uh those people and with the with the knowledge with some kind of understanding you were able to process that emotion that you were holding so strongly initially and then it got dispersed diluted all together and not just diluted but the feelings of benevolence the feelings of uh, some good feelings overcame you and so um i would like to know how using which knowledge what points of knowledge were you able to process those that strong emotion which is not at all a easy one so yeah what but, are those points of knowledge we would like to know the knowledge is to the purpose of the life what why we come over here you know the 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 giving is receiving like forgiving if 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 i forgive then the god is that's what his orders are follow the shri mat you know forgive don't don't take the revenge and when you fi- when you find out like uh, you apana tha jo paliya aur kya baat ah so you you felt that you have attained the the truth that you were looking for or um the higher yeah. purpose you were looking for yes okay. the, the brahma kumari's knowledge you know they when you understand they uh-huh. make you content they you when when you understand then you think you have everything to, uh, like it's it's not it's not uh, like you can tell with the bird what you receive like it's uh-huh. just you can only experience it yeah and you could you could find yourself in the present that i am here right now and whatever i am holding on to is a matter of the past whatever happened is has been in the past and what am i doing now right maybe that understanding helped you to to separate yourself right now from what had happened and then um knowledge gave you the direction that 
this is where you have to go you have to go towards peace you have to go towards um being a child of god that is what you are and that is what you become and so maybe that direction that focus gave you a certain direction that helped you gain the strength to come out of it i believe yeah and the knowledge of the karma you know like okay. whatever you sow that's what you reap and uh, like uh, then we understand like we are five people in the family but everyone is individual my children have their own karmic account i have my own and my husband have his own like maybe he killed those people before in the previous life and then now they kill him or they make the new karmic account then when we understand the role everyone's part is can't be changed slightly even is predestined then then we start to listen bab follows baba's direction with the knowledge of the the karmas with the karma knowledge of karma definitely helps yeah it definitely helps and um also uh, raj yoga mentions how each soul although we are part of one family as you rightly said but each soul is individual soul on each one's individual journey everyone is carrying their karmic accounts karmic bondages karmic relationships with them and here we are we have something in common so we become part of one family one um uh, physical family living together but we are very much individual but just to um you know accept this and to look at it in that way i have experienced that people um uh, people are not ready to look at it that way you know they say these are my children you know my my and so what i whatever um however we have raised them that is what they are so it is it is hard for parents to see that way it is hard for parents to see husband and wife to see to look at each other in that way that oh this one is an individual soul you know i have to respect that yeah but from other people stories right like from my stories people lots of people can learn like if i if uh, you know if i don't come back to canada and i find them and i kill them what was the benefit like uh, i will be in the jail and my three children are on the road right is 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 a is good thing i can't find them and then uh, this was just the before but now after the knowledge and then you start even if your children in the like uh, if the children that's what the problem is all over right now our children is not getting married our children don't respect us but when you have the knowledge you understand like uh, our most you know like uh, most uh, pain we get like i i experience like uh, if something happened to with me and uh, even with the you know like you don't care but when the children your children are unhappy or your children are not doing well or like this is a big pain for the parents like more more than even husband like children uh, but uh, when you understand then if the children are going away from you this is good like then you don't have to try hard to like that's what they're leaving us alone the children that's what we we need to understand is okay sometimes is uh, like uh, they just uh, the you know they they say you things they don't mean it to ask them tomorrow morning and uh, they don't even remember what happened look like someone else comes in their mind and they just spoke those words because otherwise if the neighbor say something to us or the other people say we don't care when the children said this is the pain this is our karma to count now i experience like all my life i i i thought that's why the children we receive children to give <laughs> we, we can't get like some like people brave like me i don't care people say this to me that to me i am always like 
you know the but the babas gyan is more but before like i was really tough you know and but when something is with your children like you feel a really really pain like you have to learn that like we come here and an individual become alone and we have to go alone like when i come in the gyan in the beginning you know like i was sitting there and just want to just want to when he said that, uh, only the in the golden age like the people are going to go golden age who took the lesson and then i was so fresh and new i said no no our children is going to go with us she said no <laughs> like uh, no she said if they if they come in babas gyan then they will go in the golden age but like i was shocked like look what we are doing for them we are we are ready to give our life for them and no one is like going like slowly slowly it's hard to accept this babas knowledge but with the babas love you know you see then you are able to disconnect from the world and connect to him his world yeah very 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 well put yeah um that the children are individual souls they have their own journey they have their own journey and with spiritual knowledge we are able to understand others and i think that understanding helps us to um go beyond um their behavior otherwise if we do not use the understanding of spiritual knowledge we get stuck in the behavior that this person said this to me in this way which was so disrespectful which was so not nice and so on so we just get stuck in the behavior but having spiritual knowledge we are able to see the soul knowing that this soul this particular soul every soul for that matter is a being of love is a being is a pure being originally originally being of wisdom being of strength and right now gaining so many life experiences and processing the life experiences in a certain way has become bitter maybe has become so painful and hurt that that pain and sorrow is coming through the behavior in this way and here i am in front of this person and this person feels very comfortable venting out that pain in the form of anger in the form of frustration however that is to me and so holding that understanding holding that benevolent attitude and the strength of knowledge the strength of spiritual knowledge i think we are able to go beyond the behavior and address the need of the soul address the need of the soul the need that the soul is crying out for love the soul is crying out for attention instead of holding something against the person that okay you are behaving um, like this with me right now and see what i do to you i am also <laughs> not going to be nice to you no you will you will see the real me you know then we don't have the understanding we think that the angry a uh, person that we are maybe that is the real me and so on so spiritual knowledge understanding and processing the situation through this knowledge is very helpful that is that is what i understand from your sharing and you yeah, have done the, it so in the knowledge you know with the stories i was uh, reading one story yesterday uh, the real story there was a swami uh, swami rao like uh, he was uh, he cut his his arm was cut off in the train in bombay and then he was in the hospital he was peace and comfortable his arm was and then his wife come he, she was very upset and then he said uh, she was worrying about the family like my husband is arm is cut off and what is going to happen the family now and then uh, he said uh, like uh, he said my only one arm is cut off i can to with the other one i can feel the family i my, my other arm is and then he said the, the right arm was the important part of my physical body 
but my soul is not affected he said this is the main main driver for the body like i can do i can do it he said this can be fixed and i can do it again and like from these kind of stories you know like real stories like you like they can do it we can do it too it gives you lots of courage and same there was the story i was reading the buddha story buddha was going through the village and uh, uh, so many people they swear to him a so bad bird and then then they stop and he said can i go to the next village now and they were surprised they said like what have what happened to all the swear bird we said to you he said i was going through the last village and um, so many people they tried to give me the sweets you know and he said i did not accept it and now you guys try to give me the ba- bad bird and uh, swear bird and he said i did not re- receive the uh, sweet so who who have the sweets he said little child can tell the sweets stay with them was trying to give you but you did not take it and he said same way like uh, you swear to me you bad, bad bird i did not accept it and they stay they stay with you and my my stage is Im- immovable unshakable so same way we need to understand people they are like they are they are they are habits like they are not not take personal you know i usually before i tell like if i am going going on the road if someone say me hindu this does not mean they say to me if someone was like me with the clothes like this you know they say to them too but no one say now i'm talking about now now i'm surprised like i take my grandson to the school you know when he was 4 or 5 years now he's 13 and like uh, sometime when i go from here you know we try to remember baba all the time but when we go from close i close the store here and then sometime i'm late to pick him up from the school and i forget the baba but people over there is i said and then i said mahindra where are you <laughs> they're remembering they're they're respecting baba not you like they're bow down then then you remember again so yeah so it's uh, like if you don't take like it's is uh, our choice to take happiness or sorrow because uh, everyone has their own own habits like you can't change others same in the forgiveness right like when when we if someone come and they come and this they swear to me like uh, sometime people they you know like we are outside they think they are thinking they have the god in their center the god comes by the god don't come in buddha by not the god come in the jesus christ they are all big you know and uh, then we need to understand the we are like we belongs to the roots you know and those uh, the branches and the leaves they don't have much power they will come and they if they if the trees branches and leaves they are they come and they swear to you you are still going to give the we are roots we still need to give them water we are we are strong we are the we are the trunk right so if someone comes and they swear to me if i don't get angry is benefits the first thing the benefit to me because i learn to stay peace and not to get angry and then i i benefit the other person if i start saying something he will get more angry and uh, the third things the environment you know uh, if we if we argument more if i start reacting and the environment will pollute it and the big thing i did i listen to the baba i i listen i follow the shri mat i follow the baba's versions you know and bab then makes if if i can make the god happy like <laughs> then then does not matter you know they said bap bada ke baat badi to baba you start going because you know baba said you are very good you are my lovely child you are this that and someone come and they said oh she is stupid she is this like who's i am going to listen to him or to the matter <laughs> like so that's very what we, yeah. 
when you say baba mohinder ben um you refer to the supreme soul the supreme yes. energy supreme energy light, supreme light yeah. yeah yeah and we are all children of of that one eternal supreme divine being and that is what you are referring to as baba the seed of this yeah. human world tree maybe we can equate that supreme one as the seed and this whole tree of humanity emerges from that seed yeah in and the ek the in the gurudwaras you know they say to guru nanak they said abal allah noor paya kudrat de sab bande ek noor te sab jag upjya kon bhale kan man this is just their habit so what is, on the one seed all the, all the world is on one seed and no one is bad here this is oh. just sanskaras sanskaras yeah yeah what um what i have seen around so far is that mm-hmm. everyone every single one has that um spirit of goodness within every single one and through the understanding of uh, spiritual knowledge as uh, as revealed by uh, by the one divine in raj yoga we we now know that yes every soul innately naturally is a pure soul is a peaceful soul is a is a beautiful soul with all the virtues innately but as we slowly this is also the natural uh, process i guess we slowly lose that connection with our own self which is very interesting because um we may be getting too much engrossed into the happenings around people around the behaviors around and as we slowly lose connection with our own self we get more conscious about what is happening around us how are people around us i guess in raj yoga it is called as material consciousness body consciousness and that is what takes over our our innate good qualities and then we get absorbed in what is going on and the behavior starts to become more important you know uh, we start to expect peace from outside we start to expect love from outside but when we connect with the seed the supreme seed and also the self the soul we can also connect to that as the seed and we realize that the seed has its innate mm-hmm. great qualities spiritual qualities that are required in life and so putting the focus back in the into the seed the soul and the supreme soul that is what really matters to me everything else is a story and so if i keep the story wherever it is just as you mentioned the beautiful story of buddha that he didn't accept the words the the not so good words that were showered on him and so where did the words remain who did the words remain with they remained with those who had it this is such a such a wonderful aspect wonderful way to look at look at the story if i absorb the story in me then i make the story part of me but i keep if i keep the story that is happening around i am also part of the story but it is a story knowing that then my nature is uninfluenced by the story yes as so. much as as yeah. much as possible and we keep looking at it that way and so yeah we are you know right now like people give interfere in other people's life too much what is happening to other people mm-hmm. then then our energy wasted like just listening to whatever happening in the world and then when someone something really happened to us then we we have no energy to face it there is no power to face them but when we when we connect with the seed and get energy when we find time and connect with the energy like by ourselves and then when the when someone come and swear to us and then we have a power to 
power to power to face Order. without without reacting mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and that practice we have to keep keep doing ongoing when everything is okay uh, life is going on normal as it is that is when we have to keep practicing connecting yeah because this is the food for the soul right mm-hmm. like same way we eat uh, uh, food every day for the body like same way we can't just uh, okay i did meditation today for half an hour tomorrow is okay like tomorrow the soul need the food tomorrow again too mm. <laughs> every, every day every day spiritual nourishment so you are saying that every day spiritual nourishment of knowledge of connecting with god is very very essential for retaining that strength in the soul retaining that purity in the soul that power in the soul so that any situation comes up the soul is there present to um to face the situation with clarity with wisdom and with that innate um innate strength that that is wonderful that is a very good point which we sometime we often... only little bit slow down you know like to forgive other people when we have some problem in our life and then we think it's okay i forgive there was a, st- a story like other one jim and jerry they were they were really good friend childhood friends and then uh, their friendship broken down for somehow then they did not talk to each other for 25 year and uh, jerry was on the death bed like he was going to die and then he think uh, like i should be i should difference you know the, he call he call him and invited him to the hospital him and he said uh, you know we should not be angry with each other now i don't know if, if i'm going to die i don't want to die without you forgive me and i forgive you and he come and then the uh, he think the other person think is yeah this is good idea they spend few hours in the hospital and uh, talk about their friendship or and then he was leaving he said jim wait if i don't die this this forgiveness is still pending <laughs> no no forgiveness you know? so this is when we are you know like uh, like who knows who is going to be not here tomorrow right yes. and there is no time for forgiveness so when we are there like hum aadmi hai ekdam is dam ka kya parosa dam aaye ke na aaye yeah tomorrow. yeah very true very true yeah, i did that with my uh, father um, a couple years ago he was um, he was in his um, you know last kind of days we got the indication as he was suffering from parkinsonism and um, i especially went to see him he was in another facility and i made it a point to visit visit him few times he wasn't able to communicate so much but i had certain things held um against um you know against him just few minor things but they were they were quite um important for me and so i would just sit um i would just be there with him and i communicated with my thoughts that you know this happened and i had um i had these kind of thoughts when you had such a behavior but i understand that you were doing your best and whatever understanding i had i processed it in that way at that time but i have moved on i have nothing against you so that is very important the point that you have brought up that you know one day we are going to leave this body that is so sure one day we are going to let go of we have to let go of this role whatever role we are playing you know in this um, body of ours in the world the position we have and so on and so forth the relationships we have it's going to change don't we get it <laughs> and um very important to just settle just settle with each other that oh um i am okay whatever happened happened and 
I am perfectly okay with everything now. And I guess learning the lesson, learning, um, learning from the situation about myself, what were my shortcomings in that situation? Um, what are the shortcomings of this other person? And I understand you, I understand myself, I move on. I think that is what is um, what would mean to forget because we never forget the memory, right? We yeah. never forget the memory. But learning from it, processing it positively for our own progress is what is forgetting. That is what I understand. Yeah, when we don't get along with someone and we need to take pen and paper, you know, do citation, like we need to find out like uh, their good quality, their good habits. There is, a, everyone have one good habit or many good habits in each, them, each of them. And then we find their good habits, then we, then we, we forgive them and then we start to like each other, you know, after. Mm -hmm. That is a very like good, this. very good trick. Very good method, practical method that you shared. Thank you for that. To just list down their good qualities. And if we do not see any, I think the knowledge comes to our help, the spiritual knowledge that, you know, I don't see any good quality right now or I don't have the strength to look at their good quality. But I know that innately the soul is pure. The soul is child of God. That is, that is true. Whether I agree with it or not, whether I see that or not, but I know that innately the soul is a being of virtues. And, and we, see, when we see Bob, um, when the Supreme Soul's love, you know, it's, everything is easy, like it's very easy. All we need is clean heart to receive God's love. Oh. Then, then everything comes in the, like, just then when we start receiving his love, very easy. Then you don't have to sit for meditation even. Like it's just going around, like do this, do that. And uh, don't be, yeah. because you pay attention to him, not to the world, what they're doing. Then That's it's very easy. Point. I, I like to share like a few stories. So then the, all the, all the, you know, the people who are BKs, they're going and then then they understand too when they are doing it will come it will, like when I come in the knowledge in the beginning and uh, my sister come to the Seattle so she visited her she can't cross the border so I went to see her in Seattle and uh, then in the morning I said let's go to the center Seattle center so I hardly find the, like, take me a long time. There is a Bugatti bridge here and there. <laughs> then I find the center and the, all the student was gone. There was only the main people. They were, there was Sunday and they were doing meditation. And uh, they asked me to sit on the Baba's chair. And uh, I was just maybe not even six months or just, just the fresh baby. And, uh, but I was so happy. So, and uh, I, there was a brother, he was, uh, uh, IT, you know, he was computer holding computer, the songs and everything. And I was sitting and I was, I did not know, know what I speak, but he was crying. I can see the tears from his eyes. Like, uh, because when he knows what I, he knows, what I was speaking, but I don't because I was new. The, the, the dime, do you give the kid the diamond or do you give them the dollar toy? They, they're same for them, right? They're happy with the so I have the Baba's knowledge, but I, I did not understand that much. Uh, they were toy for me to play. I was saying, yeah, this, this. And he was like, I I realized why he was crying. I never like this is seven, eight years ago, you know. I never forget that. Like, but he was uh, like emotional, like like how Baba's child are, like in the, like, how much they love them and how much Baba loved them, the Supreme Soul. And uh, then was uh, the next experience I have, uh, like we have the center in Vancouver and uh, this was the center from the long time. And then we have to move the center, you know, from one place to the other place. And, uh, and like uh, everyone, most of the BKs, they're barking and I don't bark and I have the car. So I get more, little bit more seva than the other people. So I close this one here and then I 
time to time i go to vancouver and put the boxes together to move put in the storage you know and one day i was uh, coming from vancouver to surrey and on sunday sunday night and i was coming in the car like i was so happy i was bliss and i i start crying i start crying i said baba like what i have done, what i have, what i have done like i am getting so much like i don't even work i don't put some much money in the box to pay this rent and everything and uh, i get i get so much like i don't deserve <laughs> like i said you know like so much happiness so much bliss i said i i don't deserve all this i did not do anything for it and then the baba like he, he said like uh, you are not getting anything extra from others you know you are just getting fruit of your service which is instant happiness that's that's all you are getting and then uh, then you get more you know you are getting the back before then wants to go to the golden age like what's <laughs> like the so much love right your your spirit of service just just i have this time and i would um, i can do this service and just that helped you gain that happiness because nothing comes for free yeah you, know, you work towards that's- it and then you just get the return without even expecting and that's that's just so beautiful and then when when we are going you know more and more and more and uh, then a the few years ago uh, sister denise was coming here for the program mm-hmm. and then we rent the you know to stay with her then we need to take all the everything to there and uh, like then i was helping jaswanti bhai and uh, then i come to pick my son 230 here in sari sister po ask me can you stay until 330 we need to take all that stuff mm-hmm. and other men are not around here men heavy heavy stuff and uh, she said you know we are three uh, we can't pick up that stuff heavy and take up up there so can you stay until 330 mm-hmm. i said no i have to pick up my grandson you know 30 and then uh, the other sister she was still packing up the stuff and uh, she asked her how are we going to take the stuff up there she said oh mahindra man do mahindra man will do it no problem mm. i was standing there and uh, i just uh, i just think myself they have so much uh, you know so much on me like they, she don't even have to ask me <laughs> she don't, oh, if yeah. you can do it or not she don't even have to ask me i said okay i will go to street and pick up my grandson and come back and then put the stuff take the stuff okay oh, i'm just i'm just uh, sharing this story like the result then and then the second day she was coming friday this was thursday then 7 o'clock i come over here and read the morley my clothes was wet with the you know, like the sweat mm-hmm. so much the running running here but the return for the sweating and uh, then in the in the friday morning i was coming here i thought maybe i should go to vancouver first if there is anything more need to be done mm-hmm. then i do and then i come otherwise i need to go back to vancouver from here so i go in the morning at 8 o'clock and mm-hmm. do whatever needs to be done then I come back over here mm-hmm. and uh, i was going from kukitlam to vancouver and 5:30 in the morning like this was my so much bliss experience you know in the car like uh, i i park my car on the side i was so happy so happy mm. so bliss and crying and crying and my throat was you know that time like this i was i was not able to speak i cry so where is you when do you receive baba's love you want to continue continue you don't want to go anywhere <laughs> you want to stay there and then baba asked me is did any anybody love you like this in your life any anybody your husband I said no he said there is there is my my three son but ban is very fan of his mama's boy like all the time mom mom is this my mom is that and he, like that that boy bring in front of me jp loves you that much he said no <laughs> the, the you know front of god's love the human body's loves is not nothing then 
Oh, she can't get the visa from England. She can't come. And uh, then we have to do a uh, sister or uh, did the program in Vancouver. And the Sari is, uh, we are three teachers here, more teachers, but I talked to other teachers. I said, we are going to go do that much good program. Like uh, they will not, uh, they will not feel there was no professional here, you know, like I said, don't call, don't phone them not to come. So they did not call them, the sister is not here because the visa problem, right? And uh, there was only like uh, one hour before the passage came, we are going to program. Like this whole hall was full. And uh, I tell the sisters, like we will do three of us, we will do the program, you know, in the Sari because they're most uh, like uh, Punjabi and Hindi speaking low. Uh, like we don't need that much English. <laughs> And then those two sisters spoke and then my turn comes. Like my throat was like, I was not able to speak because the Baba's love and the high sharmaun kis kis ko bataun aise kaise mein sanaun sab ko ke apni prem kahani. Like me. Translate because there are English speaking here. Yeah, yes, yeah, me, yeah sorry. Like, like, like this is just a, yeah. Then the, then the, you know, there was, I come for two minutes on the stage. And I told them, like I said, I'm not able to sco sco speak. I speak in English because we speak in English. And then there was one uh, uh, Canadian, you know, white. He come and he hugs me. He said, you know, you speak from the heart. Like he said, because you speak for me in English. He knows my English is not that good, but I try to speak English. I can't speak because my throat was, and he come and he, like he said, you know, and then, the reason is like even the program was cancelled. She could not come in. But mm -hmm. I get but I did the seva, you know, service. Mm -hmm. I get that much fruit. I did not get that for long, like six years. So much, so much love. So it's when we continue, like and we we do get the fruit. That's I just want to share with the audience. So keep continue, don't give up. Like mm -hmm. As as clean you are, as faster you will receive supreme soul's love. When you like, when you start to receive supreme soul's love, then you don't need nothing. Very beautiful, so beautiful, Mohinder Ben. Uh, I would like to ask you about your another life experience um, that. You know, people say that I cannot forgive. How can God do this to me? You shared your first experience um, very well and how you process that. And then there was another experience in your life. Um, and it is very hard for parents, you know, for mother, for father to process the loss of their child. And they say that I they, they become very bitter towards God. They become very bitter towards themselves, towards their fortune. You know, it's not easy. For yeah, one time I, I, I heard the story from some other sister. She said the, her son was, someone's son was died in an accident in the Calgary. Mm -hmm. And uh, she gave, you know, the murti, the, like or the Bhagwan's murti, like all. She throws in garbage. She throws everything in the garbage because she was so upset with the God, upset with the because they don't understand the law of karma mm -hmm. and uh, they don't know like the soul and supreme soul. And then she said, uh, then uh, before they pick up the garbage, they they go and get the bring the back the gold, gold, gold. There was gold more things, you know. <laughs> and uh, but but for me is uh, I can tell you the my story. Like when my mother was, my mother was uh, passed away in India. She left the body. I was in Canada. This was in 91, 92. And my husband was working in the sawmill. <clears throat> and uh, I phoned him. He said, come pick me up from the hill. I said, I can like, uh, my hands are shaking. My legs are shaking. How can I drive the car and come pick you up? Like I was so, my mom. And then... My husband was killed in the in India with the robbery. Like I was in a depression for 10 years. And now I come in the Gyan and my son, like in 2017, three years ago, 
my son, he was just walking on the road and then start to have a 34 year old. This was my baby one. I have three sons, his older one and he, and uh, he was walking on the road and then uh, something happened to his heart. He will knock someone doors and try to give him CPR. I was in Singapore, you know, at that time I was not here. And, uh, but by the time ambulance come, left the body like, so. And then my, my older son, they did not tell me in Singapore, did not tell my brothers in England, they were really upset because they, they, were, they come on the funeral and they have to get ready. They said, your son, they did not even phone us. I said, because of me, they think maybe someone will get hold of me. Like there is 17 hour flight from Singapore to here, you know, and uh, this was good. They did not tell me like this, this will be very, very hard to like, come all the way. And when I come on the airport, <clears throat> like then, the, then my two son was there. I, I, I asked my daughter-in-law to come pick me up, but they came. I was little bit surprised because they, maybe they have time to come. When I sit in the truck and they, they said, mom, Amrit is no more. I was shocked. And I come out of the truck and run here and there and there. Then I see them, you know, they were so crying. And then I just, I just bring my back. I said, you have the Baba's knowledge, you know, God's knowledge. They don't. They're still crying for his father. Now their brother is gone. Like, uh, if you are like this, and what is going to happen to them? And I stop myself, you know, because of them. <laughs> like, I come sit in the truck and then... and. Uh, we come home at 11 o'clock night. I ask them, let's go to the center. So we come over here and there's a book for Mike George. You know, there is a chapter, how to deal with loss of love. I gave it to my son. I said, read, I don't speak. I, I don't understand much English. Like you read and you explain me too. And in the book there was, they said, uh, souls are they leave one body and then they take the other body it's like you someone someone goes in the boat and uh, now the boat is out of sight you say goodbye to them and the go boat is out of sight this is not mean a boat is drowned or a boat is die someone is waiting for them on the other side like so this was very good like uh, you know like same like when the women are pregnant for three to four months, then the soul enters. And then the, everyone is happy in the family, like, oh, babies are, heartbeat are starting now. So someone else is waiting. Okay. And then, uh, but like this, they were, uh, we were here and then after hour, they took me to the Surrey hospital, you know. And the hospital, they said, uh, the, the soul is so strong, but the body start to wear down, right? And then, in the Surrey hospital, they said she have the heartbeat is so high and then uh, her blood pressure is so high. Like we are going to keep her here, admit her. I said, no, 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 I'm not staying here. I'm going to go home. My son said, no, like you staying here. This is good. We bring you over here. Like otherwise we will not know. Like the heartbeat is up and the blood pressure is up. And then uh, the nurse said, okay, I will come back after 45 minutes. And if your blood pressure is normal, your heart rate is normal, then you go home. Like I said in the meditation, it's just your, your mind, you know, your tian, right? If I sit, think, oh, my son, six foot three inch, he's like Rajkumar, he's not here anymore. But if I, th if I think the soul, this was all his part. And Jopadiyoso Binse, or whoever, or they are going to die one day, right? Some people goes before, some is after. So I forget that and I connect to Baba. And she come back after 45 minutes. She said, go home, no blood pressure, no, no heart beat. And then, you know, like then I, uh, when people come to the class, I said, like this, when, when my mom died, I was like shaking. When my husband died, I was in the, depression for 10 years. 
I now like I will be no more. I or I will be in the hospital if I don't have knowledge. And this is how much is the. Uh, this is how much helps Baba's knowledge. And uh, now I look after my grandson. I take him to school. Like there was no. If there is no knowledge, I will just cry. Like there was a, a funeral happening like ten o'clock, and I was in the area center at seven o'clock. I listened to the Murli, and then I. Went. People were so surprised. Like uh, she have no tears in her eyes, and so strong. But the Baba is the. and uh, like i i i experience time to time baba's love but that time on my uh, my son's funeral like from the bk family like i was so much support like there is a thousand angel behind me like i was i was experience their love and like they are like they are with me this here over here when the bhog was offered and uh, i was i was feeling so much power like all those people there was a 50 people and and more like they were their vibration you know their vibration they were supporting so yeah i i, I talk about this to the people they come to the lesson there yeah? like this is how much you when you have knowledge when you don't then you it's no no benefit to be depressed and like we have to total acceptance same is with the forgiveness you know we have to accept people total because of their like their sanskars like no one is bad every every all the all the souls they are they are god's children so when we relate stories then other people they they feel peace they feel you know like so many people like come over here they like even my friend when before i come to gyan i you know i she phone me she in the england i get i see uh, sister shivani and then i come in the gyan right but she did not the other one in the england she did not follow the but she showed me like then uh, then she stops uh, we stop talking to each other because my way was other one the other was other one and then she phoned me for my sons after sons and for the musos right for the and she was so surprised she said i am so surprised like she was telling her brother she said yes people happen people it's happen with people when they are they go to you know spiritual side she said no she is on the spiritual side before like like uh, and one of my friend she said to her husband when she go back from the funeral from her house she said i listened to the story of the mojit raja the she said today i see the, i i i have seen my with my eyes no aha uh-huh. the mojit raja <laughs> yeah the story of the king who conquered attachment attachment yeah the story is that her, his infant uh, prince um passed away the infant baby passed away the baby boy and he was in deep sorrow and he received the knowledge of the soul and he was he was in in a bliss beyond beyond this world knowing that the soul is eternal so that is yeah. the story of the king yeah, who the, attachment mohan yeah, ji yes that's what she was saying she said i went to home after the funeral when i she said i i heard the story only before mm-hmm. now i see in reality today in reality that's so wonderful sister mohinder you know these are very very hard um uh, hard situations that one would have to pass through and you did it you passed through it you shared your experiences mm-hmm. so openly so that as on this human plane we can relate to them we all go through those experiences from time to time in bigger way or smaller way and you showed us the process of how you got through them what you went through in reality and how this spiritual knowledge gave you the strength and how you how you are progressing towards towards the light towards strength towards love for everyone no matter how people are no matter what happens in your life 
with god's knowledge the spiritual knowledge the knowledge of karma the knowledge of each soul being on their own individual journey so the stories are ads you know like uh, when uh, when i was here alone after my son's uh, body leave and then i sometime i go around i said baba you give me this extra so when you need you take it like <laughs> like so the, my uh, that son was 7 years younger than the older boys like he was so small he said that's what you were giving the extra one so you have and then uh, i was sitting in the baba's room like in meditation and then the you know the little angel boy like there is a girl angel and a boy and i am holding the angel i like is coming to me like come come to like i realize this is my son's soul you know the angel angel boy little boy and mm-hmm. and, and then is coming coming i said no you have to go like in the in the meditation i said you have to go now in the meditation and he smiles and then he left and then i was crying and crying i said today i gave my son away he was here <laughs> look like to me like he was in your hand but you gave him away he said you, you go you are not you and then then baba then i was meditation he said baba said i showed you his angel uh-huh. like you are trying to you are trying to we become that like uh-huh. i am trying all that to become angel uh-huh. i showed you the the son like he is angel like why you are crying for you are working for it but he is uh, i showed you already <laughs> you know, like beautiful yeah, he is already we it's, have a question from nipa okay <laughs> would you like to read uh, well she's not oh. reading she raised her hand oh, yeah nipa uh, please unmute and um, ask your question we can't hear you nipa in case you are speaking oh, i'm sorry i don't have any question i probably i did by oh you accidentally oh, no worries yeah. nipa don't worry thank oh, you yeah. thank you dear oh. okay om oh, shanti Om Shanti. If anyone has um, any question or any comment or any sharing, um, please go ahead. Okay. So, Sister Mohinder, again, once again, thank you so much. And if you would like to. Um, take us through an experience of meditation and show how how you connect to god baba shiv baba the supreme light the ocean of love if you could do that for a few minutes sister mohinder it's so, you know for me the, the connecting to the father is like when i come in the knowledge even and i was going to go to madhuban and everyone was asking there i sit in the gaddi everyone was asking uh, like how you uh, like how you become so much knowledgeable for so so much short time and i was telling them mai 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 lot even that i experience i tell you with connecting to the baba like i was i just barking around and going driving in the car and then you know but i can do on uh, can you do do for, some for, guided meditation yeah yeah for the, for the yeah yeah sure yeah. okay yeah why can you quiet in your mind and relax and let go think of god's love think of god's love for you i fully and freely forgive her i release her mentally and spiritually spiritually i completely forgive everything with the matter in question i am free and she is free it is a marvelous feeling i release anybody and everybody who has ever hurt me and i wish for each and every one health happiness peace and all the blessing of the life 
I do this freely, joyously, and lovingly. Whenever I think of the person who hurt me, I repeat the prayer. Then the hurt experience will return less and less until it fades into the nothingness. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Thank you so much. Just wanted to um, mention our gratitude, Sister Moinder, on behalf of everyone. We all have benefited so much from your real experiences. We all take inspiration from your courage from your wisdom and we have this Tuesday talk every week at 7 p.m. This is hosted by the Anubhuti Retreat Center. We have meditation every Friday evening, guided meditation with live music on harp. We have different topics on just as we had a topic today, forgiveness, we have similar topics that help us in our life, day-to-day -day living. We also have meditation Sunday morning, 10.30 a.m. Next Tuesday, we will have a talk on tennis lesson for life by a young Raj Yogi, Brother Tanuj, who you, have, you may have seen or met or heard before, a wonderful brother, very young but very experienced in knowledge. We invite you to take benefit of the various events offered by the San Francisco Brahma Kumaris Meditation Center and Anubhuti Retreat Center. You can also visit the website for more events that keep coming up. The website for San Francisco is bksanfrancisco.org and anubhutiretreatcenter.org. Thank you. Mana has her hand up. Yeah. Special thanks to the translation. Yes, thank you. We can't hear you, Mana. Thank you. Okay, I have to take her off then. Okay. okay. Let me see if I can take her off with... Oh, gosh. I don't know how to take you off. <laughs> That's okay, she's saying. Let me, hold on, let me see. Off. Still can't hear. It's, oh, dear, dear, dear. Um, yeah. Let me see. I will try one more thing here. Try now? No. Oh. I think you're now, you're in, you're put in another place. <laughs> I think you just have to cancel the interpretation. I did. Okay. Let me see here. Anyway, Mana, maybe you can write something. Okay. Okay, there. Hi. Hello. <laughs> good, good, good. good. Hello, okay. dear. Okay. Yeah. No, this was just an observation. I mean, just thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Mohinda sister, for sharing your story. I mean, it's beyond inspiring. And, um, you know, we could just make out when you were, even when you were telling your story, normally when somebody goes through such life experiences, you would choke. Like I was just thinking about myself, you know, you would choke or the voice might go up and down. But I just noticed Mohinda sister's voice was just the same. Like you could really make out that she's just talking about some story, somebody else's story, somebody else's drama. And you could really make out from her way, the way she was speaking, because her voice did not change. She did not choke. She did not take a moment. And you could feel the love uh, for Baba, what she has and how his strength took her through all this. I mean, it was totally very inspiring. So thank you again 
for sharing this with all of us. This is all with Baba's, you know, Baba's, <laughs> Baba's love. Yeah. Thank I you. thank you for the, you know, Vancouver family. They let me come over here and then thank you for inviting me. And in the beginning, I come to Anbuti and uh, I was, I get lots of courage from him, my sister, with sister. I like, uh, in, I come so many times to Anbuti, which is, which is very uplifting. <laughs> And same as the Vancouver family. Thank you for thank you. You always have such a light nature, always smiling, always laughing, always you know, sharing your love for Baba. So wonderful. You have such a such a presence of spirit of life, which is which is I come to I I'm a little bit more serious now than before before. <laughs> No, all those students, they know when I, uh, they come to, you know, come for the lessons, like they all those Vancouver students, they come like five years ago. I, I sing song for them and then make them happy. They all, all the time, they like to come to, to me and for the entertainment. But now Baba said, what you do? The, the world watching you, we are on the world stage. So we have to be, we have to be serious. And entertaining, <laughs> entertaining, and yeah, entertaining and deep. deep. Yes, deep. Balji has uh, has unmuted. Would you like to ask something? Balji? No, 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 no. All right. Thank you. Yeah, when I when the Asha Didi was there from uh, in uh, from uh, New Delhi, you know, in Anbuti, mm -hmm. I think my this was my third or fourth time in Anbuti. And I asked someone, I want to sing a song. They said, you have to go to religious He's taking care of the stage. And I asked her, I said, can I sing a song? She said, what took you so long to come on the stage, man? <laughs> was, this was good, like, you know. Like I sang Thank you, song. Bandi. Huh? Yeah. Thank you, Bandi. Thank you. I, I sang the song that time, Kaha milega aisa baba satjugu mein tera pyaar. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That time I translate in English a little bit before I speak, you know, because there was all, yeah, maybe someone, someone can translate, maybe Mana can translate them. <laughs> yeah, they said, where are we going to find the like, where are we love. going to find Baba, the Supreme Soul's love? Like, even we are going to, in the Satyam, even we are going to be in the, start with the diamond and the house, the start with the diamond. Mm -hmm. Where are we going to find Baba, love, you know? It's, yeah. If, if they are there, if someone is experienced Baba's love, like they don't even... They're look. They're not even looking for the satya. They think it's okay. Everything is okay. Mm -hmm. Everything is right here. Wonderful. Yeah, everything is right here. Thank you. So enjoying the present. Enjoying the present with, with fullness, with spiritual understanding, and that's the real joy of life. Thank you, Sister Mohinder, and we thank also, you. Also, also, there's some. Just some. I'm going to read a few comments for you, Mohinder. Go ahead. Um, Sister Mohinder G, thank okay. you very much for enlightening us. And another, that was so inspiring. We could feel so much love and connection between Sister Sukanya and Sister Mohinder and God. Mm -hmm. And another, thanks, Mohinder Sister, you are Baba's child. And some condolences for the loss were expressed. And um, someone else said, thank you so much, sister, for wonderful sharing. Wonderful talk. Thank you so much for enlightening us. Um, and so on and so forth. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. This was very special, Moinder Ben. And thank you, everyone, for joining. And please spread the word if you... If you benefit from these sessions, please let your friends and family know and have them join. Especially the next Tuesday, you can invite your younger uh, generation, younger sons, younger daughters, who are looking for a, you know, looking for something in life, 
this will give them a new perspective brother tanuj is wonderful he is young very young brother but very very wise and mature so very inspiring for the new generation for the youth so we have all variety of speakers come into this forum so please take benefit please spread the word and have a very good evening all of you and all the best wishes thank you thank you thank you my dear sister thank you thank you thank you to my sister thank you if you like to thank you both sisters thank you thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you mahin dev palma nice to see ah. you <laughs> <laughs> very happy to see you and to listen to hello mahin dev ben hello om shanti <laughs> lots of love you're very happy right Yes, very happy to listen to you and to see Sister Kanya. Alma is Mohinder's teacher. <laughs> God is our teacher. Baba is our teacher. We yeah, have the when, same teacher. When I teach others, I remember how she teach, how much, how much patience she have. Like she always, like she always. Oh, Mohinder is a Shakti. Mohinder is a Hanuman. I said because I am from Sikh religion, so I don't know even. what is mean by shakti that time <laughs> like i will just uh, then i start to reading about shaktis and hanuman and you know like i said you better be mahindra <laughs> <laughs> yes you are true shakti <laughs> thank, you. thank you so much thank you thank you thank you mahindra sister thank you sukaniya sister om shanti thank you om shanti <laughs> om shanti Thank you everyone. Have a wonderful evening. See you very soon. <laughs> Thank you.